A thin line meanders along, moves forward, and before long, it takes form, a shape. Sometimes, a pen makes crisp crosses along the line. A stroke of a brush, a bit of color here and there, spark, but amazingly colorful, and there is a beautiful creation. All his paintings or drawings, big or small, black and white or colored, emit a kind of powerful aura. This is Jogen Jodhuri's strength. Art, so simple in its physical form, but so complex and deep within, where the energy is palpable in every line, every stroke, every dot, can only emanate from the deep seated empathy and love that the artist has for nature, for life, and for people. Jogi Choudhury was born on 16th of February 1939 in Daharpara village under the Faridpur district of the present day Bangladesh, a place that remained etched in his memory and molded him. The ponds, the rivers, the trees, the green paddy fields, the village ceremonies, the intimate life around affected him deeply. He has carried these memories all through his life. It finds expression in his works, in its spirit, in its formal qualities, in the rhythm and plasticity of his forms. The creepers, knotted and leafy, which off their way through the gardens or fell through the roof, the abundant fish, their movement and rhythm have come into his drawings. His childhood observations lend themselves to his work. Chaudhary, along with his family, came to India during the partition and settled in Kolkata. He was educated at the Government College of Art and Craft in Kolkata. After college, he got a job in a school. Life was difficult. With no electricity at home, he worked in the light of a lantern at night and on newsprint using only ink and black color. It was depressing and led to dark morbid images of men and animals. In 1965, Chaudhary got a scholarship and went to Paris. It brought him in direct contact with modern Western art and his visits to the museums and exhibitions exposed him to the works of the old masters. After his return from Paris, Chaudhary started working in Madras as a textile designer. He paused for a while, trying to find his own distinctive style, trying to form a unique vocabulary of his own. He defied trends, avoided the imitation of the European and Bengal schools, broke away from the prevailing conventions of the time and began his famous series, Reminiscences of a Dream. Most of these are works in ink, wash and mixed media on paper. He mastered the technique of crosshatch which soon became a signature of his works. The series gave us familiar symbols of lotus, fish, butterfly, hand, vase of flowers, basket of fruits. A sense of form entered into play with these elements that became intimate and personal. It is important that objects which are in use in day-to-day -day life should be artistic. This is necessary for the growth of an understanding of art among the public, Jogen Chaudhuri says. He has been inspired by folk art including Kalighat pot and Bhattala woodcuts local traditions and popular visual culture.
The artist always strives to depict the sense of equality between man and woman and interestingly dramatized it. There is a lot of Indian characters in his depiction of women. Their clad in saris and their gestures and postures are a combination of satire and humor and they are theatrical. A person who is deeply aware and conscious of the social and political scenario, he exposes the hypocrisy in the society through satirical elements in his art. The deliberate distortion of the painted figures and postures shows the complexities that exist within a person and his or her relationships with the environment, other human beings and the world. In 1987, Chaudhuri went to Shanti Niketan and joined Kala Bhavan as an arts professor. And soon his art showcased a definite shift from the depressive to positive light and intricate strokes. Being in Shanti Niketan made him happy, he said, and he didn't think much about the inner wounds. Chaudhuri has been involved in several outreach activities. In 1975, he founded Gallery 26 and the Artists Forum along with leading figures from the world of art. transcendental quality, making it out of the world, sublime, meditative, or even supernatural. That is art, says the artist. All his works explore the enchantments of the everyday and are all intimations of transcendence. I am amazed by the complexity of life and our living and I enjoy expressing the same through my work, says Jogen Chaudhary, the master of unbroken lines.